I'm Connor Hamilton with MGH Equipment, Antonio Carrero US.com. I'm in the garage today sitting in a cab of an Antonio Carrero SR7600 Infinity Series tractor. The Infinity Series from AC has a hydrostatic transmission with 12 speed ratios, six forward, six reverse. You've got a uh, lever here with a speed group. You've got your working range and your transport range. And then you've got three ratios in each uh, work group. So a really cool thing about the Infinity transmission is the ability to infinitely vary your ground speed. Coupled with this reversible operator station, it makes it a really great platform for running a forklift. And one thing that makes it even better is the ability to choose from four different throttle response modes. So you've got your standard throttle response where for that minimum throttle up to maximum, you've got linear increase all the way through the pedal stroke. And then you also have the ability to set it so that Three quarters of your power is available with a very little movement of the pedal, and then it levels off. As well as for a forklift, there's two modes in particular that we'll show you on the dash here in a second. But you've got one where the power curve starts out uh, real slow, and you get three quarters of the way through your pedal stroke before your RPMs would really kick on. That it gives, gives you the ability to really feather your throttle response for more precise control uh, when doing some sensitive operation with a, with a forklift. The other really neat feature is the ability to couple the throttle response with the uh, RPM memory that you've set in the tractor. So with this tractor, you've got the ability to set a memory ground speed and set a memory engine RPM. So say you put your memory engine RPM at only 1800. And then when you select your throttle response to have um, a linear value increase up to a limit of only 1800 RPM, that means you've got a lot more play in the throttle. And then when you push it all the way down, you just won't have a surge. It'll take you up to 1800 RPM and it just won't give you any more power. And that gives you the ability to work much more precisely with your implement. So now if you follow me around to the dash, I'll show you where to set that. So we'll turn the key and light the dash up. By pressing menu, you get into the menu. The very first one with the foot pushing on the throttle pedal is where we want to be. Menu again to select. And now you'll see our all four options. You've got the linear mode that I talked about, quick increase, slow increase, and also set with your memo RPM. So if I hold menu down, it flashes me a quick wait OK, and then it takes me back to the main menu. So if I go in, we'll see it save my, collect, uh, my uh, selection. Hit menu again, you'll see it's on that, where it increases, but only up to the limit of RPM that you've set. So when you're done running your forklift and you're back out in the field, you hit menu to get in there, toggle back over to your standard um, throttle response curve, which I would recommend. Hold down menu again, and you're set. So it's as easy as that. Well, thanks for watching today, and uh, we'll see you in our next video.